Luna, who's this? She's gone. <laughs> hey, everyone. Um, it's been a little while. I hope everyone's staying safe. Um, this video is a pretty short one because it's just, you know, um, just saying hello and making sure everyone knows I'm still here. Um, basically, I've been thinking about trying some visual astronomy um, for a while now. Sometimes it's nice just to be a little bit chill and just go out there and um, have a look with your own eyes rather than, you know, getting a camera out. Uh, unfortunately, we've not had great weather here in the UK for the last, I'd say, like two or three months. We've had barely any clear skies, um, and the clear skies that we actually have had, I've not been able to make it outside, which has been a bummer. But yeah, um, SV Bonnie got in contact with me, it was a good couple of months ago now, and um, they sent me one of their eyepieces. And yeah, I feel like I, n I really need to get out there and use it, but it's just the weather's just been awful. So I thought I'd just do a quick little video about it and then I can fill you in when I've actually used it properly. So it comes in a nice box and you get like a, a cleaning cloth. This is the SV Bonnie um, SV171 Zoom eyepiece. So here it is, nice hefty eyepiece, I haven't actually weighed it but I will go do, go do that in a little while and I'll put it in the uh, description. And this one is an, uh, the SV Bonnie 8 to 24 mil zoom eyepiece FMC, which means full metal coated I assume. And that's just like the coating on the glass. So if I take the cap off. We've got like an eyepiece uh, sort of cup that you can extend. Um, that's more for people who don't wear glasses. For people with glasses, you kind of want it flat so that you can just like put it direct against your, your glasses there. And if I take the bottom cap off, you can just about see, there you go, there's some threads so that you can put a 1.25 filter in. That's ideal if you want to put like a moon filter in or, you know, specific coloured filters to bring out details on certain planets. So, I've not used a zoom eyepiece before and I just quickly looked up, you know, read about them. Some, you know, there's, I think the Barda Hyperion zoom is a quite a famous zoom eyepiece. Um, so, this one will literally be my, my first experience with um, a zoom eyepiece. Now, I have read like, you know, because they're sort of doing the job of a few eyepieces are they a bit of like jack of all trades master of none but yeah i'm gonna give it a go um and see you know if i can get out there and just have a really nice visual session with this eyepiece it's it seems really well made um the zoom let's see if i turn the zoom ring there we go It's got the grip and then you can turn it. So, I don't know if you can see my head there <laughs> in the eyepiece upside down. It's a pretty fluid motion. Now, I don't think this one's par focal. Um, I'll happily stand to be corrected when I use it. So that means as I change the, um, the focal length of the eyepiece, I'll probably have to change my focus on the telescope. But that's okay. Um, I'll give it a go, see what I think, report back to you guys, and let you know if it's any good. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments if you've used Zoom eyepieces, what you think of them, are there any brands that you like, or you know any brands that you tend to avoid. Um, let's have a bit of a conversation, because I like my Astro gear. Um, and I was thinking that maybe this eyepiece could probably do the job of me having a case full of eyepieces. But we'll see. So, as always, uh, thanks for sticking with me and still watching. Luna is as thrilled as ever to be doing an Astro video. In fact, she's right next to me. Here she is. Put this eyepiece next to her. She's looking a bit puzzled. So here she is. You tired, Gil? Yeah? She's got a little Halloween bandana. <laughs> so, 
so yeah thanks for watching stay safe guys and i'll catch you on the next video